us about your day. So, we've just finished up day one. Um, we have had a very sort of amazing day. We started off by going to uh, one of the schools in, in the settlement. 60% of Nairobi's um, population lives in the slums. And uh, the state doesn't recognize the, uh, them as legal areas, so they don't, they don't put state-run schools there. So what's happened is that parents have started to privately fund schools within the settlements. There's now 3,000 schools in the settlements. The energy of the kids there is fantastic. I mean, you can really sense that they actually enjoy school, which is something I never did. Wow! <laughs> Then we were taken by Grace, one of the students, to see her home, which is down a few streets and alleyways, with her father, John. He showed us where they live, which is essentially a six by four foot uh, room where four of them live. He was saying that one of his hopes was that he could raise enough money in order to lift his room, so every time the, the, the rains come, it doesn't destroy everything in his, in his home. So, day two with Concern, we've flown from Nairobi to Marsabit, uh, which is probably the, the, the farthest north you can go in Kenya. We're uh, quite close to the Ethiopian border. A lot of these people out here, they, they rely on their livestock, the goats and the cows. They're very vulnerable to the weather, to the climate. Um, so it's very extreme out here. Concern has really concentrated their efforts on uh, nutrition. One classic success story uh, of concern is where we went to visit a village today and uh, we met a mother called Dongol and her son called Hassan. Um, Hassan, when he came into the clinic, was severely malnourished. He was, he was the half the weight that he should have been and now he's almost back to where he actually should be. One of the conversations me and my team were having in the car earlier on is why would you stay out here when, when things are so difficult? And one of the young guys who was there said, why would we want to betray the soil that gave birth to us? Which I thought was a pretty cool answer. Hi, so today, uh, day three with Concern. Uh, today's been all about education. Truly inspired to see the Concern's work and how they brought infrastructure to schools, how they're helping uh, train teachers about uh, gender sensitivity, how they're helping uh, young girls stay in school. Due to the culture here, they tend to sort of take a back seat. And in these schools, they are encouraged and encouraged and encouraged. I'm talking to a couple of girls about how, what they want to become. It's lawyers, doctors, politicians. Uh, they all want to make a change. And there's one particular girl who I'll, you can read about later called Botu Ali. She is just the most inspiring 12-year-old who I've ever met. She made a stand and said no to female circumcision. And now Botu Ali's mission is to teach as many other young girls as possible to be able to say no, that it's okay to say no. You can see the shyness within her, but you can also see the power within her. And it's just, Botu Ali for president. That's it, so, thanks.